as someone's giving you feedback, one of the quickest and easiest ways to disarm your expectations is to ask questions about what they're offering you, right? Because chances are you might not understand everything that they're offering. And miscommunication occurs between they have the thought in their head and the vision in their head, and maybe they're not fully communicating it to you, or you have the expectation so clear in your mind that you're not receiving everything. So if you start asking very clear questions and getting specific and concise about what they're offering you, it not only shows that you're very interested in the feedback that they're giving you, but it helps you disarm those expectations that you have and get all the information that they're offering you so that you can look at it from all those different sides. Love that. Absolutely. And when you can, like one of my favorite things about you, when you ask for feedback, you're very, you have a lot of clarity around what type of feedback you're asking for. For example, on the Canva, it's like, you know, hey, I've got a really, a really great um, structure and I'm very confident with the look and the feel, but I really need help with the content. It's like, oh, okay, then I know exactly where to go with this. And it, it gives me, instead of just saying, hey, can you provide feedback on this? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, what does that mean? Is it font? Is it the colors? Is it, you know, the structure? You know, what, what, I mean, there's so many things that that could, that could be. And so it really helps flow the conversation away and it helps taper that expectation because if you just said, hey, I need feedback on this and you were specifically looking for content, and I come back and I say, hey, um, I, you know, instead of blue, I think it should be green. You're like, well, that wasn't helpful. Yeah. And that's what happens, right? And, and then it becomes, then there's animosity. And it's like, well, you know, that's, you know, I need, actually need feedback and you didn't give me any. Like, but from my point, I did. Because yeah. that's what was asked. And uh, because there was no clarity, then, you know, that, that's what occurs. So when we can be really specific in the ask from the very, from the get-go, right? then that can, that can facilitate a strong connection between the sender and the receiver in, in the feedback loop. Yes. And then you can also say, if I've given you that specific request, you can ask me, are you open to additional feedback? Yeah. Because I do think it would look better green or a different color. or, And that then allows me to step back and either say pineapple or, <laughs> you know, have a different view on something. Um, so that's where specificity is so, so important. And so is active listening, which is our next, next tip. Because if I'm not hearing all of what you're saying and I'm not engaged in listening to, okay, here are my pieces of feedback, especially around the content that you've created, but I also have feedback in this area, then I'm going to still be set back on, well, this is what he said about the content. He didn't like this part of the content. And so I'm still back in the conversation, listening to the content and not hearing what you have to say about other pieces of what could be improved. And I'm missing that. So then I send you the revised version and you're like, but I said I would like it this color too. Why didn't you make that change? I wasn't engaged in the full amount of the feedback. And so staying present to the entire conversation, not getting triggered so much so that I'm missing pieces of the feedback will be key. Active listening, being present for the whole conversation. 